because of the work of Jesus on the cross, mm -hmm. God looks at us mm -hmm. after our temptation and after we fall. He looks at us and he says, I see you, my child, mm -hmm. and I see the blood of Jesus on you. Mm -hmm. And then we keep working, mm -hmm. you know, and we, and we, we get up and we go again mm -hmm. and we continue to do ministry, continue to do life, continue to mother, mm -hmm. even in those moments. And I think that is always so encouraging to my heart. I want my kids to go, you know what? My mom went through some really hard things. Yeah. Like she went through the waters and everything that she went through was tough and she struggled through it. But my mom didn't stay there. Yeah. She pressed on from every moment and she refused to let her past be her today. Yeah, right, you know? yeah, absolutely. And I think it goes back to, to what Jesus said too when he taught us yeah. to pray. You know, uh, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. That's a daily prayer. That's what he said. Yeah. It's, a, it's not a one-time thing because it's not a one-time event. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and Lord, you know, deliver me from the evil that I would do mm -hmm. and the evil that would love to take root from the outside in as well. You know what I'm saying? The evil that would want to be inflicted on me, deliver me from that. Right. And I love also in like 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, and it says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. Like we've mm -hmm. all experience some of the same temptations. It says, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way so that you can endure it. Exactly. It's just like when we have those tempting moments and we want to give back into the old habits mm -hmm. or mindsets or actions, you know, he's yeah. like, I'm giving you a way of escape. He's yeah. giving you that moment of pause at the counter. He's giving you, you know, moments to say, ah, maybe I shouldn't say this. Maybe I shouldn't do that. He's given like, nope, put the phone down. Nope, right, delete yeah. this right here. Nope, don't go to that site. Right. He's given us those moments and we've got to take it so that we can bear and we can continue to move on. Yeah. But I think it also says something, it goes into what you had said earlier. Um, it just triggered a thought too about our, our faith and our works. They go hand in hand. Yeah. We can't say we have faith without having cor corresponding actions with right. it. Right. So because we believe Christ, because we love him, because we believe he loves us, then there are things that we do. You know, we don't just sit back and say, my husband loves me and I don't do anything else. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. There are things that we do to keep our marriage fresh and active and right. saying yes every day, you know, right. whatever. There are things that we've got to do. And the same is true. Even when it comes to temptation, we've got to say, okay, God, because I believe you, therefore I won't. Because I believe you, therefore I will. Yeah. I do have a part to play, not in my salvation, yeah. But in me walking out my obedience to you. Right. My dad has like a pen illustration. If you've watched him, he always does it. And it just always bounces back to the way you don't want it go. Mm -hmm. And I remember I told somebody my my past and I said, but listen, you can't help me. I've been trying for a long time to get right with God and do the right thing. And you just can't help me. And they were like, Lane, first of all, we can, but you just helped yourself by bringing it to the light. And I think a lot of times we will overcome the temptations if we just tell someone, yep. if we'll just bring it to the light and steal the power from the enemy yeah. to keep working in our mind, to be working in the dark. That's where You're he rules. Yeah, that's where he rules. And so we got to bring it to the kingdom of light. So it's as simple as I tell Ethan, hey, I'm thinking about judging that girl right over there, you know, like whatever it is. <laughs> or I don't, yeah. on, so you got on my nerves. <laughs> yeah. But I, I allow him to hold me accountable. I tell a friend, I text someone, I, I go out of my way to make yeah. sure my life is yeah. in the light so the enemy doesn't have power yes. and I can't fall into the temptation because I've now got a friend to go, go, girlfriend, you said you weren't going to read that book. Put it yeah. back. Like yeah. you got this. Yeah. And I need that in my life, totally. you know? Yeah. So That's many good. times I've looked at a friend and be like, I just need to say this out loud. Right. Yeah. So that I'm not the only one that Absolutely. knows what's yes. happening in my life. <laughs> Exactly. Right. It's good. Exactly. I'm gonna say it out loud because you and I both know, yeah. and you can hold me accountable. Yeah. Right. And yeah. when I say yeah. it out loud, <laughs> I feel very good. foolish, and I've already been like, "Whatever, I don't need it anymore." Yeah, yeah. But you've already lost <laughs> yeah. the power. It totally yeah. was yeah. Power. Yeah. that power that it had over yeah. you. With continued walk in obedience to Him, the Word of God says we work out our salvation yeah. with fear yeah. and trembling, a reverent right. fear with submission, with trust in Him. And I feel like as I've progressed as a believer, where my temptations when I began were very overt and obvious. It was the 3 a.m. text from the guy I had been hooking up with in college before I came to know Christ. Right. Those temptations, I was baby. I was, I, he, <laughs> discerning those is where it starts, the big yes. stuff. Yes. Um, but as I've matured and as I've grown, the Lord's been opening my eyes to our need for discernment of the way the enemy works in the fact yeah. that he is their overt, obvious, dark, demonic, you know, broken things. And he also disguises himself as an angel of light. Right. And so there are many temptations 
that will come dressed Covert. in a very mm -hmm. good thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like how the enemy dresses these things up. I think about um, the Gibeonite deception. Yeah. They disguised themselves in order to deceive the Israelites. Mm -hmm. And the sin against the Israelites that God notes in that scripture is that they did not consult the Lord. They judged by their five senses mm -hmm. and they welcomed him in, they made a covenant and they sinned against God. Mm -hmm. And it says they did not consult him. And I think a lot of the times it's really easy to be like, well, that job opportunity yeah. came in and it has the six figure, you know, dollar signs will be our biggest deceiver. Yeah, right. And the devil like, will bless you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mammon's like, that's how you'll serve me. Come, you know, and we have to not, as we grow in faith, continue in the discernment to say, okay, you work in darkness, but you also disguise yourself as an, as an angel of right. light. And so my default when it comes to temptation right. is to consult the Lord. Yeah, right. You know, but as we grow, we begin to learn, I'm going to consult the Lord mm -hmm. and my yeses are going to be blessed and my noes that were given yes. by God are blessed. That's so we good. continue to grow in discernment, even right. in distinguishing what's the source of why I'm saying yes to yeah. this. Right. That's right. always what it comes down to. What's the why? Right. And that takes work. Yep. I feel like that's the theme of this overcoming temptation is we have to be willing and able to do the work. Yeah. And you know what also is so true about those like God blessing the yes and the no's? No one will know about those no's. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not so and glamorous. So it's not so glamorous. Not and good. so there are times when you are like tempted to say yes to something for whatever it might bring, fame, acknowledgement, power, money, right. um, and you say no, and everyone would have known had you said yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, they offered you that new job. I cannot believe that. Or you got the opportunity to do that. That's amazing. But when you say no, the faithful no. I'm getting no. good at no. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> good job. No, I'm right. getting a degree. Yeah, exactly. No, that, no that comes, that doesn't bring glory. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And so that is an intimate moment with God That's right. of you saying, I'm going to say no. And it's something that only you and I know about. Right. Yeah. And that has to be enough. Right. And it has to be really, really good. And we've all done that. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming all of us here have done that. Mm -hmm. And I think we would all say, although no one knows about that no, it was a really sweet moment with me and God right. of me trusting him. Right. And, and I, know we, peace. I know that peace. Right. I know that peace. You know, when I think of temptation, I always um, think of Paul in Romans 7 when he's when he's writing and he talks about, he says, you know, um, the law is spiritual, but I'm a flesh. Mm -hmm. And he says, what I'm doing, I don't understand for I'm not practicing what I would like to do. And he goes on and he's like, I want to do what is right. Mm -hmm. My flesh wants this. Right. And I read that all the time and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I get it. Yeah. This is the story of my life. Like I get this um, because there's this overcoming temptation is like our goal. It's what we right. want, mm -hmm. but we need to be realistic here and say there are moments mm -hmm. when we do not overcome the temptation. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We Absolutely. succumb to it. We fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sin. Right. We do the thing that actually we know our soul does not want. Yeah. Right. Our flesh does, mm -hmm. right. but we know the spirit of God does not want us to because we're going to sin until we meet Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Paul finishes that up and he goes through that whole like scenario of I want this my spirit wants this, da, da, da. And I just feel like I get that. And then he says, Romans 8, 1, which we know, he says, therefore, because of all that, because right. of all that struggle, therefore, there's now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And so the hope for us in overcoming is it is a battle. Mm -hmm. We have to engage in it. It's not an apathetic race that we're, right. that we're running here. We are running a race yeah. uh, with, against a very real enemy who wants yeah. to take right. us out. Right. There is also so much hope yeah. that when we do fall and when we do stumble, that there's no condemnation. Because if there was condemnation, then the work of Jesus on the cross was not worth it. Right. And because of the work of Jesus on the cross, mm -hmm. God looks at us mm -hmm. after our temptation and after we fall. Mm -hmm. He looks at us and he says, I see you, my child, mm -hmm. and I see the blood of Jesus on you. Yeah. And then we keep working, mm -hmm. you know, and we, and we, we get up and we go again. Yeah. And we continue to do ministry, continue to do life, continue to mother, mm -hmm. even in those moments. And I think that is always so encouraging to my heart. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.